Hi, you guys. What's up? <laughs> and you're in the house with Chris. In the house with Chris. I'm about to get my apron today because I already got some things started. And, um, and, uh, and I already got flower on my little outfit, but I don't a little black dress for the occasion. Um, yeah, let's say I put on this little black dress like I haven't had a premiere for my uh my little appearance, uh, my on uh, my little appearance on um fight night. I thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. It's a really good show. I know for those of you all have, who have been watching you know it's good it's a lot of heavy hitters in it right i was so 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 happy to be a part of it and um for my fam to so many of my just people that i could, could consider my entertainment family um diane ashford who's one of the producers i could be more proud of course will packer um um Oh my gosh, just so many. Uh, Dwayne Boyd was in it on the same episode as me, uh, uh, episode four, okay? Uh, Dwayne just did my headshots and my um, slate shot. Um, Dwayne is a phenomenal uh, actor himself and acting coach as well as um, he gets you right with them headshots. Damn, I just burned myself. Because see, what I'm doing is I'm making some... some white macaroni and cheese i'm calling it white macaroni and cheese because the cheese that i'm using is white that i was just draining my noodles y'all um and and i just let me say this i will name something in a minute because i'm just naming that because really the only cheese that i had was all like white in complexion is that a thing this food at any rate i had some gouda and i had some provolone cheese that's what i had and so, um, and you know, I improvise and then I put some, um, <laughs> you all know, funny. I really just here so I can talk to y'all and just, you know, catch y'all up on things. So it's, yes, it's white macaroni and cheese because the color of it is white. And I just really put the cheeses in the bowl in a glass bowl and with some, uh, heavy cream with, um, some, um, some cream cheese, a little bit of butter, one egg, some pepper. Um, I actually put salt in my water when I boil my noodles because they say that that's the way that the salt gets into your pasta. Because ap after that, like salt just doesn't get into your pasta, okay? So I put it in, in my water and I boil the um, pasta um, with the salt in the water. Um, if y'all see this, y'all will know why it's called white macaroni cheese. But I'm not about to move right now because I have a really good angle on my. But there, there we go. On my, um, on my little camera because I have this little gadget that I'm using as my assistant to help me with the camera. And I'm gonna put my mac and cheese in these little cast iron pans. Aren't they cute? See, I'll be having stuff and I forget I have it. And I was like, ooh, but I didn't have a lot of cheese. And um. I just want to kind of use what I have. Y'all know I'm very good for using what I got to get what I want. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm using what I have here at the house. And I'm just going to make me some little things. Some little things. So, okay. So here's a story about um, when I filmed Fight Night. Um, I was pleased about my performance. Because I was, I'm not going to lie you guys. I was nervous because, you know, I, I really didn't know that... Um, both Don Cheadle and Kevin Hart were going to be in that scene that I was in. I didn't know I was going to be in the scene with them. Um, and and at that time, when I got that role, um, and thank you so much, George Pierre. George Pierre is another one of my entertainment family and casting. And let me tell y'all something now. Now that I'm, I'm naming these people off, but I'm not name dropping. I want to be very clear about that. And please don't think that they just give me shit. Because they don't. Now, that's obvious, okay? Because y'all know that Will and George and Diane, they done plenty of stuff that I ain't been in. But, uh, <laughs> but it's okay because here's the thing. And I auditioned, guys. I auditioned for that part, which I'm not mad about that. I, I, I am one of those people, and I've always been like this, is that um, I don't want for people to feel like somebody just gave me something. Oh, she just got that because she know them and this and that. So, I am not beyond... 
getting in the auditioning room and auditioning. I'm, I don't have a problem with that. But nor do I have a problem with somebody giving me something at this point. Giving me a role at this point. Like Victoria Raw, that's my girl. Let me tell you something. Victoria Raw, she will call me up and be like, look, I know this is perfect for you. And, and, and not only do I know it's perfect for you, but I really lightly <laughs> wrote this character because I know you about to come in here and make it what it's going to be. And that's kind of what I did with Ronnie and Players Club, believe it or not. Cube and I, well, no, it was my, that was my first movie, but he kind of allowed me a lot of liberty to um, to create some of the moments that Ronnie had. And I appreciate that because um, that always makes it fun for me. But, um, but yes, Vic, uh, Victoria will call me up and be like, this is yours. This is yours. So I do appreciate those, um, those moments as well. Um, but saying all that to say... So when I did Fight Night, you guys, I was working as a, as a um, buyer behind the scenes um, for a very, very big project for um, on a DC Comics project. And uh, child, they be having you so nervous. I still don't know if I can talk about it. So that's why I'm not going to say what it was exactly. But when it comes out, I will just say it's a very big project. And I was working with one of the, um, of, of one of the, uh, most well-known uh, decorators that's been in the game for a long time. And, you know, people are always very nervous about working with her. Like she is one of the, she is the cream of the crop, honey. And she's so up there that she's even like on the Oscar board and all of that. I, I'll say this. I was, I was less nervous about working with her than I was doing my scene in Fight Night. Just me. It's just the people that do it for me may not be the people that do it for others. Like, I'm not being, I mean, you know, I'm going to just leave it at that. But, um, I was, I was grateful for that opportunity too, which my girl Liz Ayala, who's a fabulous decorator, you guys, um, she, she is the one who brought me on board to do that with her. And let me put these in the oven while I'm talking. Oh, they look good. And y'all wonder what I did. I put them in these little pans. I had already kind of um, oiled them up with butter. And then I topped them with Parmesan cheese. Because that gives, Parmesan cheese gives you a nice little, a little crispy brown. And Parmesan cheese is salty. So, you guys, like, you don't have to add a lot of salt. If you're using, if you're cooking with Parmesan cheese, just know that. Um, but anyway... Liz Ayala is who reached out to me to give me the opportunity to work on the uh, DC Comic Project with them. And I so appreciated it because, honey, that was during the time. A lot of people, we needed that little coin because we were just coming out of a strike. But then at the same time, I was working on that. I was in the thick of it, in the trenches. And then Victoria called me about doing a film, um, a, a comedy um, called Christmas in the Friendly Skies. And you know I love Victoria and I love doing Christmas films with her. And I'm not even a Christmas person like that, but I love working with her, period. And then um, and then she brought on my girl Dieta West, which is our sister and all uh, the Chandler Christmas stuff. So I was excited about that. And um, I just got to work with so many great people on that project too. It was so fun. I have a new puppy. She does not know the rules yet about stay your ass out of this kitchen. But anyway, um, so I was working on that. So, um, my, my job that I was working as a buyer was giving me a few days to go and go work on that project, um, with, um, with Victoria. Soon as I got the information about when I was going to be working on the film with Victoria, which I had a really major part in, I got the call about, well, I, I had gotten a call about fight night also, but it was like, they weren't filming at the same time. And then it changed. Because that's what happens in our industry. It's either feast or famine. So how about they were literally, everything was layered on top of each other. I had a very big, two big scenes that I was shopping for on the um, on the DC Comics project. I had a major role in the Christmas film, which was a comedy, present day. And then I got the call for Fight Night, which is a drama uh, based on a true story in the 70s. And I'm, 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 I'm supposed to be emotional. When I tell you, my mind was like this, ping, 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 ping. And I just had to center and get very centered and get very focused and get very thankful and grateful. 
and just thank God, like for just giving me what I needed to, to do, to do that and to do that, um, seamlessly, um, and to have the, 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 the confidence of people around me that, that I wasn't going to drop the ball on any of what I was doing. That's a big, big major thing. Um, so yeah, I'm just, that's what I had going on y'all. So I, I am pleased with my second son again. <laughs> and then to navigate that moment, because it was a lot going on in that moment with like the, the top, some of the top players, you know, in the, in the, in fight night. Um, and then, you know, and then I was a top player in uh, Christmas in the Friendly Skies, which I can't wait for you guys to see, by the way. It's funny. It's funny. Well, I hope it's funny. The script was funny. And I think that we all did our thing. So that's what I had going on. Um, and, and, and I'm saying all that to say I am so thankful for anybody that supports what I do. It means a lot. It really does. Um, it, it just truly does. Like right now, I just finished writing um, a, a, a project, a stage play. My friend, um, me and my friend Teresa the Songbird. And I'm nervous, guys. I'm super duper nervous about it. It's good. You know, it's a two-woman play. It's just going to be she and I. And um, we're going to be playing all the characters. And that's going to be happening in mid-October. So I hope y'all come out and support if you're able to. And um, yeah, because I just appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's, it's, I will take that reward over any reward any day. Because when you come out and when you tune in to support something that I'm in... That is something directly for me. You know what I mean? For 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 my people. For for like it's just like I know it's you know what I'm saying? I don't I can't even expl express it the way I want to. My my gratitude and appreciation. Yep. And um, okay, so that's that. Uh I love y'all so much. I really do. Like, I know it's like the thing that's thrown around, that's thrown around, but I just know that. You know, my love for people that appreciate me and embrace me and really like believe in me and that stood by me throughout my career. Like I have a genuine like, like, cause it, it cause that's love. That's love. And that's love that you're pouring into me. And I just really genuinely appreciate it. It is felt and it is just, oh man, amazing. Um, so I'm also ma making, I think this mushroom is called an Anuki, Anuki mushroom. Y'all, it looks so weird, but well, I, don't know. I just be trying stuff. So I'm soaking this in kind of like a jerk. Look how yucky that looks. <laughs> jerk, kind of like something so sauce. I put like egg and jerk season in here. And then I'm putting it in like a flour cornmeal combo in this bag. And then I'm going to fry it. I'm going to fry it in the pan. And I'm putting that with my mac and cheese and I made collard greens yesterday. So that's what I'm having. Some kind of makeshift soul food, something. Okay. I love you. Till next time.